Their story captivated the nation. Two young women from a small town in North Dakota with big dreams who took their talents all the way to Olympic gold in the 2018 Winter Olympics. They also had the courage to take on huge battles and dared to make history. That is also the title of twins Jocelyn Lamaru Davidson and Monique Lamaru Miranda's new book, Dare to Make History, Chasing a Dream and Fighting for Equity. Jocelyn and Monique join us this morning. Congratulations to the both of you on this new book, which was really a lifetime in the making, right? Yeah, it's been quite the process, but we're, we're excited for the release next week and just um, just excited for what's transpired over the last couple of years in our careers. Yeah, and, and let's talk about your careers. How did you two get started playing hockey, and what were some of the barriers that you had to break through along the way? Well, we started playing hockey because our four older brothers played and our dad played at a, the collegiate level. And so we started just following them around everywhere. They were playing hockey. We were playing hockey. Um, but I think the first barrier we faced was there were no girls teams to play on growing up. And so we just played on boys teams and that was normal for us. Um, but as we've gotten older, we've recognized that that's, that's not normal and it shouldn't be normal. And so we've uh, really taking it upon ourselves and our team has to create more opportunities for young girls who want to be involved in the sport. Yeah, creating opportunities. I'm glad you said that because this isn't just a book about hockey. It's about so much more than that and the importance of the fight for gender equity. Talk about how you sort of took on USA Hockey and fought for that. Yeah, it's a it's a good point. Our book, obviously, we talk about the gold medal and and our amazing win that our team had in 2018. But I think one of the more important stories is our gender equity battle that we went through from about 2015 to 2017, and is still an ongoing process. And our team ultimately ended uh, ended up threatening to boycott our 2017 World Championships and potentially jeopardizing our chances of making the 2018 Olympic team. And we we were able to sign historic. Uh, four-year contracts uh, going into the 2017 World Championships, went in with two days of practice and ultimately went on to win the tournament. And so we go into a lot of detail about that process and what our team went through. Yeah, and I know you sort of gave us the Cliff Notes version now, but was there yeah. at, at a point during all of that, did you ever question what you were doing? Did you ever think, you know what, maybe this isn't worth it. This is too challenging of a fight. Well, the story we like to tell, um, it was the night before we were about to announce our boycott. And so we were at our parents' house explaining to them what was going to happen the next day. And our dad was, you know, concerned about our spots on the roster. Uh, he's concerned for his children. And um, he said, well, what if it doesn't work out? And my response right away was, well, I'll be able to lay my head on my pillow at night know, knowing we did the right thing. And so I think ultimately that's what us and our teammates felt was that we were doing the right thing for the right reasons and ultimately it's going to impact the next generation the most. And what is the message for the next generation? What do you hope people get from reading this book? Well, I think uh, beyond it just being an inspirational sports story is hopefully inspiring people to, to make positive change and make a difference. And we like to say to cheer for the one behind. That's the motto for our foundation that we started. And you can be an elite athlete or elite at whatever it is that you're doing, but you can still make a difference for so many people along the way and, and be a voice for positive change. And we hope that that comes across in our book. And you both recently announced your retirement from Team USA. So we got to know, what does the future hold now? <laughs> well, immediately next week, our book comes out and we're really excited about that whole process coming to fruition and people being able to order our book. And one week is actually due in like three or four weeks. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's that's coming up um, pretty quickly. And so we're just really excited about our book coming out, Monique having uh, another baby and um, just really being able to put more time into our family and our foundation moving forward. So many blessings. Congratulations, Monique. Uh, we also have Thank to mention you. that you both are ambassadors and spokespeople for Comcast's corporate values initiatives. Uh, Comcast, of course, is a parent company of NBC10, and your work spotlights the Comcast Internet Essentials program. Uh, what can you tell us about that and, and your involvement with that? 
Well, I think ultimately working with the Internet Essentials program inspired us to start our foundation, I think, a little sooner than when we were planning on it. Uh, we were going all over the country, making a huge difference for hundreds and thousands of kids uh, with the Internet Essentials program. And we really kind of looked at ourselves and like, hey, what are we doing in our hometown, in Grand Forks, North Dakota, in our state? to make a difference and so being a part of that program and being able to work with so many people that are just wanting to make a difference really inspired us to to, mm -hmm. to start our foundation and get started on that and to, to make a difference in our hometown and our home state. Thank you so much, ladies. Once again, the book is called Dare to Make History, Chasing a Dream and Fighting for Equity. And it's available starting February 23rd. Again, Jocelyn and Monique, thank you so much for joining us on Philly Live this morning. Thanks, Thanks for you. having us.